Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna be sharing my thoughts slash reacting slash whatever you wanna call it um, by video by Perger U. And it's how do you stop a bad guy with a gun? I personally think this is probably a really simple answer to a question. My thing is you to shoot him, but you, you never know. Let's get into this and make sure you do uh, share the video if you see anything you like, if you have anything, you, any questions or anything post them down in the comment section below. So let's actually get into this. What's up guys, this is Will. Wait, what? What is that on top of his head? What? What, okay. A little bit with PragerU. Today we are in Pasadena asking people about the concept of a good guy with a gun stopping a bad guy with a gun. Let's do it. Do you think that people in America should be allowed to have guns? No. No. No, I don't think they should. I don't really see the point of really needing a gun, or so why should they have it? Guns in general for me just feel like they're more unsafe than safe. Yeah. I feel like having a gun makes it like easier to just go around shooting people. I feel like with a gun in my house I would feel less safe. Yeah. If, if like I, my dad owned a gun, like I would feel less safe. Okay, I think- I'm so confused. Okay. She says, all right, let's, let, let's unpack that for a second. So she said, first of all, she lives at home, but she's like, I would feel less safe if there was a gun inside my house with my dad. So do you not feel safe around your parents? Like the gun is not going to jump up and attack you. Unless one, nobody is in the house knows how to handle it. Or you just don't feel safe around your parents. So maybe, maybe it's virtue signaling. I don't know. Let's get keep watching. I think people should be able to have guns, but I think there should be like really strict regulations. I'm pretty sure like you can be a 14 year old and just walk in and like get a gun. Yeah, but I feel like this is going to be disturbed this whole video. That one comment right there. 94% of mass shootings happen in gun-free zones because people who are going to shoot people know there won't be anyone in there with a gun to defend themselves. So do you think that like in a gun-free zone, we could have people who actually have guns, not make them gun-free zones, and then people wouldn't go and commit mass shootings in them as much? <laughs> Look at her face. Look at her face. You just said 90 something percent happens specifically in gun free areas. The solution would be like, yeah, just have people in there that have guns. So it's not a gun free area. That's why nobody shoots up like a gun show. Because a lot of the people that do these things are generally just cowards. So they go to somewhere that they know the likelihood of them getting hurt is drastically low because you're breaking the law in the first place. Like, um,. Having restrictions on guns doesn't really stop the criminals. It only stops law-abiding citizens. So let's keep watching. I think the idea. Oh, she didn't. She didn't even answer. Okay. Of someone in my community walking around with a concealed weapon just in case somebody else has a concealed weapon is terrifying. It would have to be like, like a police-type figure, but not like a police officer, but like you know, like a designated gun person. Yeah. What? So you want security because the only other people I know currently that will walk around without a gun, not without a gun, but with a gun besides police is like local security people. So yes, I can understand that. Um, but you would have to change how gun free areas pretty much work and you would have to hire a ton of people to be around. But anyways, have you ever heard the concept like uh, a good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun? Yeah. Ever heard that before? Definitely. There was a, a guy came in, crazy guy, he was going to shoot up the whole church, and a guy with a gun who was there at the church, he defended the entire church, killed the guy mm. who was coming in to Very kill bad. all these people. Right, exactly. Yeah, no, I don't think there's any reason you need to bring a gun to a church. Wait. How do you completely miss the point in a question? You just, <laughs> did I miss did I miss hear the question? The question he literally said a guy came into a gun to shoot up a church because he assumed nobody in the church had a gun because he came somewhere that they thought they could be safe because as as I stated before people are normally going to these areas are generally cowards so they go to places where they can probably get away with their crime as easy as possible. 
This guy went to a church. Luckily, somebody there had a gun, shot him because he didn't expect it. He didn't expect anybody to have anything. This girl, this girl, instead of addressing the issue that good thing, like the other, the black lady before with the short blonde hair, at least she addressed the fact that it was a good thing that somebody did have a gun there to protect everybody. She's like, nobody should have had anything. Hopefully she's going to say something else, but I guess it, it was better for that one guy to have a gun and, and, and uh, get home. I don't even know how to, how do you even justify that? It's better for that guy that shot the bad guy not to have a gun so everybody else could get shot. Well, Just, there was a reason right yeah, there. The guy shot reason, him. Like a good guy with a gun. I, I hope they cut back to her, which you can explain, because that was a very bad cut on her because, like, that's... Anyways, let's let's keep going. And I really don't think that that does exist. He could have, like, shot his leg, like, disable him from being able to, like, walk. And See, so now, um... I used to think this was a very good argument, just thinking about shooting, shooting his leg, disabling him from being able to walk. Now, generally, um, people that do have guns, they have to go through training and everything else. Uh, as far as the level of training required, it's different per person. Now, a lot of, like, stand your ground laws, as it goes through each state, and it changes over time to time, there's certain things like, if your life isn't really in danger, where you're fearing for your life, like, why did you shoot that guy in the leg? That's an argument that can be made. Because the thing is, if you shoot him in the leg, that's not incapacitating him. That's not stopping him. He's, now, if he shot his hand that had the gun or shoot his hands, I would understand that. Like, if he just shot the gun in his hand, his hand gets this whatever. But it's like shooting him in the leg, um, yes, that could kill him still. Because at the end of the day, like, a gun should be treated as your last resort where you feel like if you do not stop this person, you are going to die. Shooting him in the leg doesn't really stop them. I mean, it could, depending on if you hit like a vital organ or something. Yes, it could. Um, shooting him in the arm, even shooting him in certain places in the chest. Um, they could still get up and walk away. But um, it kind of defeats the purpose because if you do that, everybody under the sun could just say, okay, well, I felt threatened. I shot him in the foot instead. Like, were you that threatened? Or you feel like it was okay to completely, you didn't disarm the dude. But anyways, there's, every state's different as far as the law, like stand your ground, everything else. They have little modifiers. Some states you have to run, run away or at least retreat. And then you can do something like that where it shows you try to escape a different route. Um, some states you can just, just do straight up. Now, whatever state you're in, if you know kind of what the parameters as far as stand your ground or anything, post in a comment below because there's 50 plus like Puerto Rico. And it was like Washington, D.C. I don't know all of them, but I would love to hear what's yours for your specific state. So post that below. Let's keep watching this video. And then he probably would have, I don't know. They could have like called someone and prevented it a different. What? Is this the same person? Th these two girls. They could have called somebody like the police. You, the police still have to get there. There's a guy, there's immediate danger right there. Let me, I'm like, hey, listen, gun person. Chill, chill. Listen, chill, chill. I need to go call somebody real fast to come help me. Chill. That's, that's the whole problem. Or not the whole problem. That's what people or these cowards that go, cowards that go into this area, they expect this. Where you need to go get somebody to help defend you. Because by the time they come, they already did whatever they wanted to do and move on with their day. Anyways, let's keep watching. I keep stopping, but it's just a bunch of, uh... Different way rather than killing him. I don't know. I, I don't... I... It's like... Th that wouldn't happen if guns weren't allowed. <laughs> this is an example of somebody that is so stuck in their mentality that they refuse to accept, like, there's good and bad with everything. Like, that's, you could at least admit that was a good thing that they did have a gun. But you're saying, well, this would be an issue if guns didn't exist. That's the, the problem with that argument is the fact that if guns don't affect criminals, like banning guns, taking them away does not affect criminals. Like, that's, that's the whole premise of it. They're still going in and it does this, like this, like, do-rag, whatchamacallit guy over here. See, is this, this thing over here on top of his head, whatever his name is. I forgot it already. He already stated that majority of mass shootings at like a 90 percent, a 90 percentile happens in gun free areas. So her argument is if nobody had guns, 
it would be an issue while these incidents happen in gun-free areas. So, and even if you say, well, if America as a whole, or wherever they wherever they are at the point, was gun-free, it's the same thing like a church, but on a larger scale. They can still leave the country, or leave the state, or leave wherever and come back in. Now, if guns became illegal around the world, I mean, criminals will still make them, because you can still make guns. Like, it's still feasible to make something. And who knows? They might go to, like, Bass Pro Shop and get themselves a uh, crossbow or something. You never know. Anyways, let's keep watching because I I really hope she admits something because right now she looks like she's just stuck in her ways. You know, out in the open. There would have been a lot of lies that have would have been taken at that time. Right. So, yes, like you said, a good guy with a gun. There's right. such things. But because of the world that we live in right now, people are blinded. What yeah. if, like, someone broke into your house? How would you defend yourself? I try to grab whatever I can in my house to hit him, and then I guess, yeah, just wish, wish for the best. Yeah. yeah. But if you had a gun, then you wouldn't have to wish for the best. You could defend true. yourself. Yeah, that's true. Okay, that's a very stupid statement. You should, you should still wish for the best. You having a gun doesn't automatically make you a winner. You're still putting your life in danger. I understand it's a joke. I'm assuming it was a joke. Mr. Do-Rag having man. Oh, that, that do-rag thing or whatever it's called. Please, somebody tell him to take it off. Anyways, you still hope for the best. I'm not too paranoid about people coming out to get me because I'm a nice person. Yeah. So you say you don't, you want to ban guns, right? Uh -huh. But the government's corrupt and spends money badly, yes. right? So uh, technically you would be giving your guns to a corrupt government. Then the government, these corrupt people, would be the only ones who had guns. And this is where your mind gets blown. Well, not, not you people watching, but like this girl. This, the thought process is such A, B, and doesn't realize it leads out this tunnel. <laughs> I want to hear this response. <laughs> Do you think oh. that anyone in America should have a gun? Honestly, if you have to defend yourself, yes. I mean, the military use it. If, this lady's cute. If you are registered properly, if you go through the proper legal steps, the legalities, then, and you're responsible. Did you learn anything new? Yeah. Yeah? A lot. A lot? Yeah, it's kind of like making me think about my perspective. Like yeah. The things you were asking, it's like making me question what I think. Yeah. Did you, did you have fun? I had fun talking. Yeah. Thank you. Did for you learn anything? Me. Yeah, you, yeah, you just made, you like, you made I me just, you just made I'm me. Like Her mind just got blue because she literally asked herself the question of, oh, God. Oh God, these kids. You gotta think about it at home. Did your head just explode at that last one? Yeah. yeah. I think people just need to be more informed. I agree. I agree. Because, yeah. come on. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We got a lot of good responses, and we were actually able to educate a ton of people on this issue. Which... All right, boys. That's the video. Now, I think that black lady is like the most logical one out of them. That one girl, um, she just didn't want to change her mind at all. She's like, yeah, well, if there was no guns, the, the crime's happen in gun-free areas. Um, post below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let's answer this actual question. Uh, what, like, how do you stop a bad guy with a gun? Oh, well, how do you stop a bad guy, bad guy with a gun? Let's see. What do you guys think? Do you throw a harpoon at him? Do you throw a spoon? Do you, like, do a, a fire dance around some fire to see what happens? Um... Anyways, let me know what you think. Uh, make sure you do rate, comment, and subscribe. Like this video. Uh, share this video because that's the best way to help me grow. I don't got no production team. I'm just one black guy uh, surrounded by cats. But besides that, I will see you later.